Hey, what's up, guys? All right. So yesterday I installed 3.0 on my iPhone 3G from Apple Software Update, and uh, I'm gonna be reviewing it and going through it right now. God, I'm getting taller and taller. You can barely see my head. Is that better? All right. So instead of me showing you like this. I'm gonna pull out my camera so you guys are gonna watch from there. Okay, so the first thing that everyone's talking about about the iPhone 3.0 is copy and paste. Finally, Apple put up copy and paste into the iPhone 3G and iPhone because I mean it should have been there firstly, but I don't know, they add up the hype and they release the 3.0 and it brings up more customers, so they release copy and paste now. Alright, so to copy something, firstly, you're going to need to find some text. So what I've got here is an email open uh, from Facebook saying, Selena Gomez confirmed me as a friend. Yeah, that's right, Selena Gomez. Alright, cool. So to copy something, is just going to take your thumb and you're going to hold it down on the part of the text and this big magnifying glass is going to come up. So as you can see, it's uh, it's unconfirmed. And when I let go, it's going to give me a option to select or select all. So if I click select... Oh, where to go? Oh, wait, wait, one sec. If I click select, these two little arrows come up that uh, allow me to select the text I want to copy. So say I want to go up to confirmed you as a, and then I can tap copy up here, and it'll be copied. Then you can uh, go down wherever you need to go. So you want to go into your notes. I just have some numbers here. Open up your keyboard, hold them down the magnifying glass, and then hit paste. Oops. Paste. And there you have it. 6306 confirm you as a. That's how you copy and paste on the iPhone. Another great feature that Apple announced on the 3.0 was MMS. Finally, MMS has to be on the iPhone, iPhone 3G, because they are revolutionary phones. And Apple finally put it up there. So MMS, um, it basically allows you to allows you to send photos over a network, um, images, uh, audio files, contacts, and etc. But no word about videos yet. I don't think you're gonna be able to send videos across for a while. But MMS is up finally. It's not available in the beta though, so I won't be able to show you. Also, what should have been there from the first Apple now put searches for like almost every application that they have so you can now search your mails your contacts you already can only do that um, I believe your messages and so forth um, if you go if you go to the left of your home page there's a big search bar that comes up and you can type for whatever you search on your phone okay so the search feature looks something like this you're just gonna go to the left from your home page and this little search bar will come up at the top and solo your keyboard so you can search for anything on your phone for so for example if you want to search for contacts I can search for dad and uh, dad will come up over there if you want to search for your applications you can search for mail and mail will come up management's a contact maps so forth and whatever so you can go back if you click X and then the keyboard will come up and then slide back to your home page and you're back. And that's called Spotlight and really cool um, and should have been there firstly like I said. Another small feature that they had was uh, emailing and deleting multiple photos at once. It was a pain to delete every photo one by one when you had to delete a lot of them in your uh, camera folder. So now you can just simply tap one image and keep tapping them. Uh, for which you want to delete and a check mark will come up and then you can at the bottom it gives you an option to delete all and um, they all delete at once it's much easier um, than you know going one by one and the same thing with the email button you can click email and then select all the ones you want and then email a photo like that all right so to delete multiple photos at once all you have to do is hit the action button at the bottom left corner right here and uh, the action selection will come up so at the bottom you have share copy and delete so what you can do is you can simply del select the photos you want to delete so if you want to delete this one you want to delete this one 
or you want to delete um, whichever one you want just select them check mark will come up and then you can share to copy to or delete to so if you want to delete it press delete and they'll be gone then you can hit done and uh, your camera will come back up it's pretty cool camera per camera and Apple had to put this feature on the 3.0 because it was just so wanted everyone needed this and um, it's landscape Apple put landscape into texting and that's a big relief um, once you got 3.0 I was texting like mad hardcore landscape because it was so much easier and plus I'm a big guy and I have like huge thumbs it's like impossible for me to text even though they was getting pretty good at it but they have landscape texting and emailing and of course in the Safari so that's a really good help all right so this is your regular texting menu over here so you can go ahead and um, turn it to the left or right and voila it goes into landscape mode and you can type whatever the hell you want so let's go exclamation mark right there type of person let's use him and send it and now let's send goes at the top the loading bar goes to the top and not, not the typing bar anymore so yeah that's how you type in landscape also now on the iphone you can forward text messages finally so when you get a joke or something you want to send to someone you don't have to retype it just forward it to anyone you want big help and also you can uh, delete certain text messages um from a conversation so in a conversation, you can delete certain uh, sent or received messages from uh, different people, which is pretty handy when it comes to doing whatever you need to do with text messages. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Also, put up calendar updates, which is uh, useful for shared calendars. You've got note sync. You can sync notes between iPhone and your desktop computer. You have a voice memo application. This is an application that allows you to record voice memos so if you want to if you're in school for example you have homework and you're too lazy to pull out your agenda or a piece of paper and a pencil pull out your phone and click record and uh, record your homework your pages or whatever you need to do just record it and it actually works because I did it today for math and English and finally Apple put up stereo Bluetooth A2DP support this uh, allows you to stream high quality audio from another device via Bluetooth so you can just send audio files which I mentioned earlier but a to dp that's pretty high-tech also p2p connectivity peer-to-peer -peer connectivity so two iPhones or iPod touches and any other supported devices will be able to connect directly peer-to-peer -peer via Wi-Fi uh, without needing any Wi-Fi network they can discover each other initially using Bluetooth and then start Wi-Fi connection automatically and now you can communicate directly with other accessories. So for example, you'll be able to control your TV's volume, for example. That's, that's what I really was interested in. And Maps API is now integrated with other applications. So say, for example, in Safari, you're searching for something and you have the address. So you can click on the address and it'll open up your Maps application. And um, it was pretty annoying, but now Apple integrated the Maps uh, application into all of the other applications, so that's handy also. And of course, you got turn-by-turn -turn directions on the GPS. Finally, turn-by-turn, -turn, guys. Turn-by-turn. -turn. And an amazing feature, like voice communication. Like, you'll be able to talk with your competitor you're playing with your competitor you're playing on the game or whatever for example shoot 'em up if you're playing shoot 'em up you'll be able to talk with a headset or the built-in mic of the iPhone with your competitor and that's called voice com communication built in the application it's pretty amazing I want to see if that works and again another scheme of Apple and their developers but it's pretty cool um, say you download a game for free and within that game, it will allow you to buy or purchase or it will sell you different levels. So like, I don't know, topple, if you want to go up to level 5,000, it will sell it to you. Even though there's no such thing, but if 
if it was, it would probably sell you for like a buck ninety nine or something like that. 